get uh, started the first highway paleontology program in the nation. In the history of the program, the 60 years now, uh, we've probably collected over 250,000 fossils. We have fossils, I think, from 91 of the 93 Nebraska counties. So wherever you go throughout the state, there's an extremely high possibility that you're going to encounter fossils. We were monitoring highway construction on the North Loop to Org project. Um, one of the machines that hit a bone was a bison arm bone. And so as we dug around that bone, we kept finding more and more bones as we dug further back into the hill. So we uh, bagged up some of the silt that was around the bones and then we brought it um, here today. And so what we're gonna do is called wet screenings. We're gonna take that silt and we're gonna dump it into water, swirl around in the water, and then we're gonna pour that silt through uh, these sieves. And we'll pick out snails, some seeds of hackberry trees, mice teeth, mice bones, gopher bones. Most people might ask, well, why, why do you care? Well, in the old days, in the early 1900s, they went out and they were collecting the, the big rhinos and the camels and the elephants but they didn't really focus on the small animals. These guys are short-lived. Uh, they evolve rapidly because they uh, can reproduce really quickly in their cycle. And they're usually tied into certain climatic uh, conditions. We can find uh, voles that uh, today are only found up in Canada, right here in Nebraska. So that tells us that Nebraska um, during the Ice Age was more like uh, northern Minnesota or southern Manitoba and those boreal forests. Uh, regimes and so we can tell a lot about climate and landscape conditions from these microfossils which is really exciting.